Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to set up this rebounder, this mini trampoline. This is the make and I got this off Amazon. Right, the contents of the box include the following. The mat, a tool, 30 bungees or elastics, 6 legs, 3 half moon sections, instruction book, warranty card. You might find some of these. These are just the protective rubbers that protect the threads on the frame. Right, you'll notice there is a narrower section. All you do is you slide that into the frame like that and the last one right your frame should look like that and now you put the mat upside down right the frame and the mat must be upside down you know the frame is upside down when you see this protrusion here the protrusion here with the threads is where you're going to put this leg towards the end of this insulation right to do this it's best to start north south so we're going to put one here and then we're going to put one on the opposite side this one over here is going to be very easy to do because the mat can move. Right, so what I do is I turn that there and I put the bungee underneath. If you have a look there, you can see I'm underneath. Right, so that's underneath. And now what I do is I go underneath here and I go around and you see how I fasten it on there. So the first one is very easy. Right, so that's what it looks like. Right, now imagine you had to draw a line here from the one you've already done to the next one over here. So let's call this the north-south. So I know it's going to be this one. Right, so now I'm on the other side. I put it underneath there. The crimp is closer to me. Underneath the frame, you could do this with your hand. All you'll do is you'll pull and take it round like that. If you want to use the tool, you're going to take the tool. You're going to pull it away from the frame. Get it in there and slide it round. Right, your setup should now look like this. You'll have 14 connection points on this side and 14 plastic buckles on that side. Now what you want to do is choose any side, miss four, and on the fifth one, you're going to put a bungee. So one, two, three, four, here's the fifth, and I'm now going to put a bungee over here. Keep this part close to you. Underneath, pull it, and round. Now, some of these are very easy to do because the whole mat is moving and some you may want to use the tool. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the opposite side. So now I'm here. One, two, three, four, five. So now I'm here. Right. So if you have a look at that, it's like someone's drawn a line from that side to this side. Right. So what I'm doing now is I'm pulling this. Right. So now I'm pulling this over and you can see the method I'm using. It does require quite a bit of strength. If you don't have that type of strength, take the hook, pull it back. Try get the mat close to the side of the frame. Take it to the side like that. Push downwards. Slide it. Now what we want to do is we want to do that diagonal. So one, two, three, four on the fifth one over here. Remember this is over here, right, underneath, underneath, pull it tight, you can see the mat is coming closer, even pull the mat towards you with your fingers, and hook it just like that. Now I'm going opposite. So now it is one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now this one is going to be probably the most difficult. Now you can see that this is already very far, and I'm going to show you a technique to sort this out. So the technique I use is as follows. When you're pulling this, you're going to find the frame is going to want to lift up. So I'm going to get it under the frame. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest my knee just about here. So you can see the frame still going to want to lift up, but I'm going to get my hand ready to stop it. So in this case, I'm going to swap hands. And I'm going to first do this with my hand, and then I'm going to show you how to do this with the tool. Right, now the trick here is I've got it here. It's tense. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start pulling the mat. Look, I'm pulling the mat towards me. And now I pull this tighter. And I'm going to pull the mat again. So I've actually pulled these. Look at that. I've actually pulled those bungees this way. The same of these. I've pulled them this way. Now you can see the gap has reduced. Now pull away and go around. All right, if you're going to use the tool. Pull away, bring it close, push down, and slide. 
right, your rebinder should now look like this. You can see that we went opposite. And then what I did is I skipped four of the hooks and then I went opposite again, diagonally opposite. Then you go opposite again. So you can see how it's this crisscrossing. Now on this particular rebinder, the point where you're crisscrossing is also the point where the leg attaches. So you could use the leg as a reference point. You can see there, look at that, the way they've done it. So they've actually put the bungee around the attachment point for the leg. There you can see. Right, now to complete the job, we want to do angles like this. You can see from this side to that side, then we cross again. That side to that side. If you're someone who knows about cars, the way you're putting this on is the way you would tighten a gasket. There, there. Opposite, 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 opposite. Right, so I'm going to start here and then go diagonally opposite. If you're finding this happening to you, it's not a serious problem. All you need to do is just shift it slightly. So how you do that is you go like this. Right, now you can see that problem is now solved. Pull away and round. Right, yours should now look like this. You've got three there, three there, 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 there. So now I'm going to follow the same procedure for here and there as I did for there and there. Right, yours should now look like this, three, 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 and now we've got these two to add your two and your two to make it three, three. Right, just an instruction, so you can see that. Pull away and slide. Right, yours should now look like this. Right, for this step, I'm still going opposite, opposite. But I'm now just doing two at a time. Right, so just to recap, it's easiest to grab it like that, pull away, get it there, push down and slide. Can you see that the crimp is there? Right, now the final step is to screw in the legs. Now I have something called thread locker, the blue one. You do not have to do this step if you don't have it, but all I do is I put one drop in there, just like that. If you do not have thread locker, it's not serious, just put the leg on. It's a good idea if you've got rubber gloves, you can wear them at this point. Be careful not to cross thread this. What you need to do is when you put it on, gently turn until it finds its placement. Right, you see it's not wanting to go on, so just keep it vertical. Right, there it goes. Do not make it tight until you find that you can turn it very far. Right, now do your final check. Make sure everything is tight. Check that you haven't skipped any of these bungees. Make sure the half moon frames are fastened into each other. Quickly do a burn-in test. Right, you are now ready to use your rebounder.